Hey guys, what's up? I got something for y'all today. Actually, it's not for you, it's for somebody else that I know. You might be the person watching it, so it might be for you. So anyway, I'm going to back up. Anyway, what we're doing today is we have a Palmetto State, obviously. Uh, a kit came in, not a build, a kit came in. And another box that I have over here for just a second. And it came in, and it's something that I pointed out on Instagram back a while ago. Um, not very long ago. It was Instagram or Facebook, I don't remember. But anyway, Palmetto State had that, that 10 and a half inch uh, complete upper, right, with the bolt carrier group charging handle and the CAC blade lower parts kit and all that for like 259 or something, 260. That's cheap. In my eyes, that's really, that, that was a really good deal. Palmetto State, they have good deals sometimes, but then sometimes they have really good deals. And in my opinion, that was a really good deal because in general, you look at it, your bolt carrier group is generally a about a hundred dollars depending on where you get it what quality which one what what the other average it out you're going to come up to about a hundred dollars okay uh let's say your your barrel it's again about a hundred dollars depending on where you get it some are more some are less whatever so about a hundred dollars right the cac blade um you can get them anywhere between 50 and 75 dollars so that right there just you, the, the blade kit, the barrel, and the bolt carrier group, that's about $250, give or take some, whatever. But you all, they not only have just the whole barrel, I mean, you got the uh, the whole upper, right? So you got the, the upper receiver complete, you know, all put together. It does just have the um, the clamshell style uh, heat guard, right? It doesn't have like a quad rail or anything like that. Um, but the front sight post is on there. Uh, what else? The lower parts kit, you know. So it was a really, really good deal. And somebody that I know jumped on that, and they wanted me to help them build them. And before everybody freaks out and starts telling me that I can't build other people guns, well, yes, I can because I am an FFL. I don't mention that a lot. I don't know if I've ever really mentioned that. But I do have my FFL, so I can do this stuff. It's not just for fun. I do most of 90%, 99% of what y'all have seen have been just for fun. I think there's only been one rifle that was not built primarily for me. It was built for somebody else. But this is a gun that is somebody else. Technically, they own it right now. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do own it right now. And so I'm going to build it for them. And I want you all to see it because I have never seen any of these actually uh, put out there. You know, I've seen these kits before, but I've never really seen somebody get one and open it up so this is how it comes um well not exactly i took the little uh zip tie off that holds the bolt carrier group in but this is the, up, the upper that we're talking about right um you can see i'll read it because i can't read it when it's on the camera but uh, 556 nato one and seven twist right there right on the barrel yep 556 nato one and seven okay and it's obviously uh, 10 and a half, right? 10.3s. I, you know, I do the whole Mark 18s and stuff, and those are just a hair back here, but 10 and a half is right here. Um, with A2 bird cage, a flash hider, like I said, these these hand guards or heat guards, whatever you want to call them, um, they seem to be they seem to be pretty well made. I don't know. Most of the time, very 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 often, people just swap these things out, which I think is one reason this thing was so cheap, is because they know that, so they're just going to give you what they've got, but. They have the heat shield inside. It's not just plastic. So kudos to them. Like, really, kudos. Um, you have your T markings up here. So if you're going to take off, put on optics or whatever. Um, the bolt carrier group. I mean, it looks nice and everything. Um, it even it does say MPI. So that's a good thing. It's not just a – you hope it was done right. Uh, just a standard mil, uh, mil spec charging handle. Um, anybody that knows what this forging is, I'm not exactly sure what that forging mark right there is. I'll try to remember to take a picture. I don't know what that forging mark is. Um, but it does appear to be fine. I mean, the, your, the front sight post appears to be, I'm going to point this out myself, uh, but it does appear to be level or vertical. It's not canted. Uh, that's one thing you really got to look for, especially when we're dealing with like budget builds and things. Um, let's see. And this is how it came. It didn't, it didn't come unassembled, so I did not assemble the upper, right? Um, and then we have, maybe for some contest someday, I'll ask how many times I say, um, in my videos. Because I say, um, an awful, awful lot. I know that. Lower parts kit, which obviously it just has, I can feel it. I don't know if you can really see it. You'll see it in a minute. But the, uh, the A2 style uh, pistol grip with all the mil spec lower parts, the CAC blade, which it is the CAC blade, and it does have the dimples, 
which is nice. Um, there's another one. And the the end plate is nice. It's got the two little spots for hooking up a, a sling or something, which is really pretty cool. So they don't have to add that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. And then obviously the cack blade. Something else that came. All right, we're going to look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get this guy out of the way. Ah, something else that came, which is really pretty cool. I've seen these, and they've been about the same price. The price wasn't really different um, from this time, but it was still a really good deal, I think, from what I understand. It was one of those 10-pack of magazines and then the Spark, right? Yeah, the Spark AR Red Dot Vortex. I've never used this optic. I've heard very good things about it. Um, I don't think, I really don't think I've heard people legitimately bashing it, right? So I don't think it's, I think the worst thing that I've heard is that it has a lower uh, battery life. But then again, it runs on a AAA battery. So that's not a big deal. You can just throw a AAA battery in there. Um, it's, yeah, this needs to be fine. So we're gonna put this guy on there as well. We're not gonna use his mags right because we have our own mags we're going to do that but when this thing is all built and done said and done and whatever we are going to go out and shoot it he gave me permission to do that so we're going to go out and shoot it see if it runs see how it runs you know does it cycle does it cycle the cheap stuff does it cycle the brass stuff you know we'll, we'll, we'll give it we'll give it a run for its money um we're not going to try to burn it up or anything but we're just going to make sure that it functions make sure that it works right but that'll be another video for another day but right now it's raining and I do have time to make a video, but I just have a time to make a video now and not go out to the range. So we're going to get to this. We're going to put it together and see what it looks like. And a quick note, um, YouTube is crazy. All right. I'm sure all y'all know that um, YouTube is really weird, really crazy. They're very stingy about their firearms policies and everything. I don't want to get any more strikes. Somebody gave me a strike, I guess, for having another build video. So whatever youtube can do whatever youtube wants to do so i'm going to be vamping up my patreon page so yes I'm, I'm selling out to the whole patreon thing i've had one for a while i had one patreon he i feel bad because i never updated anything and then he left so i feel kind of bad but i'm really trying to vamp that up we're going to be doing anytime you see build videos or whatever more than likely i'm going to try well i am going to try it so more than likely another video will be over there on my patreon page with more in-depth actual building kind of stuff. So I'm gonna jump ahead in this video to the end where the rifle's built, but if you wanna see how I built it, you know, that side of things, then go check out my Patreon page. Consider supporting that if you if you want, if you like this content, if you like this channel, that's gonna be the way to support me because I don't really get much money at all, really. To date, I haven't gotten a penny yet. Technically, I'm supposed to have a little bit of money, but yeah, anyway, YouTube's not really doing that anymore. Or not very, not very much for guys like me. So the Patreon is going to be the best way to support me. So if you like this stuff, go over there, check it out. If you don't like this stuff, then we'll, we'll, we'll continue to do YouTube, definitely, for now, until they kick us off. So anyway, we're going to jump to the end, and uh, there we go. Okay, so there we go. If you want to see the full uh, build video, then go ahead and check out my Patreon and all that. But this is what we got right here. Um, this is the final product of what we have of the the 10 and a half inch from PSA the, the upper with the bolt carrier group charging handle the CAC blade buffer tube um, I mean it is CAC shockwave the whole thing right there is what it says with the dimpled uh, receiver extension um, mil spec lower parts kit it's got kind of a heavy trigger we're gonna work on that um, it may just need to be broken a little bit but we are gonna work on that it did, that kit did not come with this optic, but I mentioned a second ago, the uh, the Spark AR and, and 10 mags, they had those on sale for $200, and the guy that got this uh, wanted me to build it or put this together for him on his lower. Um, he figured that was a good enough deal, so he went, went ahead and got that. And to me, that's a good deal. That's a really good deal. That, that's either, that, that's, depending on how you look at it, that's the Spark AR for about $200, which is a good deal, and then 10 free mags, free shipping, that's yeah, pretty good. Or you could say you got the Spark for $100, which is a really good deal, and then 10 mags for $10 a piece and free shipping. That's a pretty good deal, too. Either way, you look at it one way or the other, it seems to be a really good deal. I can't remember if the Spark is a 2 or a 4 MOA dot. I believe it's a 2. I think it's on there. Can you see it? Yep, right there, right in the middle of my chest. Um, but we're going to run this guy. We're going to see how she shoots, um, see how she works. Hopefully, she works like a charm and bangs away at everything knocks out steel knocks out uh nice tight groups and on paper 
Uh, but we're going to see. We're going to see what these PSA 10.5 inch uppers can really do. I believe it's the chrome molly vanadium steel. Um, I'll have to check that and make sure to run that again and see. But yeah, the only possible thing that could change on this guy is if we got a quad rail. Because the guy wants a quad rail. Um, which these work just fine. I've had them before. No problems. But if you're going to want to mount anything, yeah, you need to get something else. Um, yeah. Because they, they make mounts that can work on this stuff. But if you're going to go to the time and effort and trouble to make one of these, and time and effort to buy an optic or whatever it is with an adapter for one of these, then just get a quad rail. Yeah. You, 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 you won't be unhappy with a quad rail. So there you go. Hope you all enjoyed that. Hope it was interesting. Um, I hope you maybe learned something about this, or maybe this is the first time you actually got to see one of these, quote unquote, in person, you know, not from an advertised uh, um, agent of PSA. Um, but we're going to see how this thing works. So, anyway, hope it was great. Appreciate you all watching. Uh, appreciate your support. And we'll catch you on the next video.